I focused on the way that marriage has changed. You know, when we first started trying to get equality between men and women, everybody thought, both on both sides of the debate, that marriage was going to be done for. That <laughs> men wouldn't want to live with women who were too independent, and women would walk away from marriages if they could, in fact, be independent. And it looked for a while as though that was correct. The divorce rate shot up. Uh, but it turns out that this is... I think probably the last best hope for marriage, that marriage is today, although the rate of marriage is falling, the divorce rate has fallen, and it's fallen most for egalitarian couples, educated couples. Uh, nowadays, it's more of a risk to be a, uh, a bre male breadwinner, female homemaker, rigidly gendered family, than it is to share breadwinning and domestic chores. So marriage is changing. It's changing in very exciting ways. There's been a lot of talk about how do we support marriages. I think it's really important to help people enter healthy relationships, and government can play a very important role there in um, providing uh, psychological counseling when they need, even premarital education, but also, of course, in providing clear exit rules so that it's that if a relationship does end, there's not these tremendous warfare and you don't have one group or the kids living in poverty. So I think it's really important for government to look broader than just marriage itself and try to support individuals uh, developing healthy relationships meeting their commitments to others, and it's a massive social experiment. It um, makes some people very uncomfortable, but it offers tremendous opportunities for the way we organize work, community, and, you know, our personal lives and our family lives. <laughs>